Hello, it's Peg and welcome to my channel. I am doing a collaboration right now with Shell C. Many of you may know her. She's an avid YouTuber. And uh, we've been doing collaborations for about four years now. But um, one of the things that we do is Art Joyous Sharing. And this is a weekly live show. So what I'm doing is on my own channel giving you the sped up version from the live. So we have on our Facebook group, Art Joyous Sharing, um, challenges. And for the month of June, you saw me pull out a mood board. And that's what we're working on today is a journal page based on the June mood board. Now I'm using some uh, different papers. I have some collage papers that were provided by Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl. They have some things that um, you can download and use in your art. Um, that sun piece that I'm gluing on the page there is from that. This is from an old almanac. Um, you know, I've torn it to make it look like clouds. And these are suggestive of uh, the visual image that you get from the mood board. Um, the pictures that Shell has chosen are very summery, travel-oriented, um, water and sky, and, uh, you know, just looks like something you would do when you're traveling. There's a tent there, there are trees and mountains and all kinds of things. So, you know, I'm picking my colors based on the oranges and blues and greens and sandy colors that I'm seeing in the mood board. And then I am interpreting that mood board into a journal page using those same colors and, um, you know, not being literal, but just doing a fantasy world and telling my story on my journal page. And so that's what I've chosen to do. I'm using these Painted papers. These are papers that um, I spent yesterday just using up the bottles of some bottom paint that's in the bottom of the bottles. Um, and this is a good way to just, you know, use up the supplies that you have. I'm showing this uh, Westcott three-sided ruler. It has a straight edge, a deckle edge, and then a very pronounced deckle edge on it. And I use that to rip and tear my papers. I like the jagged edge, and um, I'm looking for that rocky mountainous uh, sort of effect on the paper. So it makes a great way to just shred your painted paper and use it in collage. And I use this quite often as I am tearing and piecing things together for my pages. So I am getting a visual triangle going here, pulling down that orangish sandy tone from the sky and off to the left of my page. And uh, yeah, when you're, when you're collaging, you need to think about how you're placing those things on the page. So that's what I'm doing is I'm breaking up the page with the line from the trees or mountains and the uh, sandy surface. That was a cup that I was drinking out of that Shell had made for me. And I guess I was kind of being inspired by what she had done with that. But I have a book that I found a quote from that I wanted to use on my page. I'm going to put that down to tell my story with. And uh, then I'm going to get out some um, pencils. Yeah, my Stabilo pencils. And I'm going to add some uh, shadowing with my Stabilo All pencil and a water brush. And then I'm also going to add some white gesso for the highlights. Um, and 
I'll finish out with the white gesso and some splattering in. Um, yeah, it's just a real fantasy land here that, you know, I'm going on for my vacation. Uh, we talked a lot about vacation and where people were going this summer and what their plans were. And, you know, it's that kind of feeling. And that's the story that I wanted to tell. But I also wanted to tell the story that's in the quote at the bottom of the page. So you'll see that here. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come and join us on Art Joyous Sharing. That's another channel where Chelsea and I both create. So if you want to see the full version, uh, the long version of how we created our pages, you can find it there. You can check out Art Joyous Sharing on Facebook if you want to join us and uh, do some of the other challenges. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a kind comment below. If you enjoy this tutorial, I would be delighted if you would subscribe to this channel. And also, if you'd like to get not notified when a new video is out, don't forget to hit the bell, the button next to the subscribe down below. And I will have a link at the end of the video for other projects that I've done that you can, of course, share on Pinterest or other social media. All of those things help my channel to grow and help other people find me. I also hope that you use my links below if you plan to do any shopping. It gives me a little bit of an advantage and allows me to test new products. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.